Welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com. That's right. This is where you get to learn QuickBooks for free. Hello to all and Merry, Merry Christmas. That's right. It's Christmas Eve about to be and I'm doing my last video before I go enjoy the holidays. Why am I doing a video today? Well, we received a question in our forum from our buddy and I just wanted to, in the Christmas holiday spirit, reach out and help out somebody. That's right. We have our buddy Bachatar Singh. I hope I'm saying it right. And the question is, Hello, I have a multiple retail locations and I want to be able to track sales, expenses per location and I want to see a total income and loss statement. How do I set that up? Alright, Bachatar, let's go over to QuickBooks and let's get to helping you out so I can get me some eggnog. Now, before I do go over to QuickBooks, I want you to go to our website first. Go to Accounting 101. And you're going to scroll down until you run into this video. Here it is. It's called Track Multiple Offices Under One QuickBooks Account. And once you are here, play this video. And the reason I want you to play this video first is because this will teach you the setup now if you feel that you can look at our video and bypass a one part of the setup uh, then we'll teach you in our video about the reporting part portion so this is still one very good video to reference okay and now we're gonna go over to QuickBooks and I have already set the scenario up for you and I'm gonna show you how to get that reporting the way you want it Alrighty, we have arrived at QuickBooks. I opened up Chart of Accounts. Uh, now there are a couple different ways to do this, you know, such as setting up classes. I'm going to show you one way, which also is kind of the same thing with that first video. Uh, I think it's the most simplest way for someone who is a beginner. Um, so here we goes. Uh, for income, I decided to uh, split it up into two. We have Income Office 1 and we have Income Office 2. They're both income accounts. Uh, you can still even detail it even more if you want to break your income up in however you want. But the idea is that I have an Office 1, I have an Office 2. Now for expenses, you're going to have to do the same thing all the way through and through. Uh, you set it up one time and it's pretty much good you know, going forward. So here we have, for example, Office 1, uh, Office Expense, Office 1, Office Expense, Office 2. Other Expenses, Office 1, Other Expenses, Office 2. You can even have things like Rent, and then Office 1, Office 2. Uh, so any of these expenses that you're actually going to have, Internet Expense, um, no matter what it is, break it up into Office 1 and Office 2. Now that you've done that, we're going to pretend that you've actually entered some trans transactions under these. Okay, and that's what you're going to learn in video one. What I'm going to do right now in this video is I'm going to jump right into profit and loss and show you how to customize that report. Alrighty, here we are at profit and loss. I told you guys it was Christmas Eve, December 24th. Yeah, I'm crazy. I'm working on Christmas Eve. What's wrong with me? I don't know, like I said, I just uh, saw the question and I wanted to help him out before it was Christmas. In any case, I pulled up a report for this month to date. As I told you, I did some transactions already, uh, ready for this video. Uh, income Office 1 pulled in $1,800. Income Office 2 pulled in $2,100. Then we go to Expenses. Office expense, office one, office two, same thing for others. So you can see that now we have all offices, both offices, everything all into one. And you want to know how to separate them. Well, it's pretty simple. You go to modify report. You go to filters. Under account. Check this thing called multiple accounts. And over here, 
we are going to have to select everything for office one so we're gonna have income office one once again I'm gonna show you a way where you only have to do this once it seems a little redundant but you're not gonna have to do it every single time um, depends maybe maybe not <laughs> in any case uh, office one scroll down to the expenses office one office one and I'm gonna hit OK I'm gonna hit OK yay it filtered out everything from office 2 so now I have everything from office 1 you could see that our profit and loss we made a thousand fifty net income this month for office 1 now before I do anything else I'm gonna go to memorize it I'm gonna call it profit and loss office 1 month to date I'm gonna hit OK you can save it in a group but for now I'm gonna hit OK okay now that I've memorized it go back to modify report do the same thing but first you have to remove selected filters then you do down arrow multiple accounts we have to choose everything for office 2 office 2 office 2 hit OK hit OK Voila! Office 2 made more money. Instead of 1,050, this one made 1,600. Same thing. Memorize. New. Profit and loss. Office 2. Month to date. I'm going to hit OK. And there you have it. And to retrieve this report, I'm going to go to Reports memorize reports profit and loss office one if you don't find it here it's gonna be here and it's gonna automatically give you this month to date and so the only time you're gonna have to redo this whole process if you want uh, this fiscal year so you may want to do it twice one for a monthly one for a yearly and that's pretty much how you separate it if you still need any more help visit our forum again write a reply or you could just simply reply with uh, with big hugs and kisses all right in any case you guys happy holidays happy new years and until next time some more quickbooks lessons and that concludes this lesson uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos